Shunting. The human body contains approximately 5 liters of blood. Only some of the capillaries have blood flowing through them at any given time, however. If every blood vessel was filled with blood at the same time, the heart would have to produce a tremendous pressure to move it efficiently. Instead, the body uses its resources efficiently, constantly shifting which capillary beds get blood. It accomplishes this by controlling blood flow to capillary beds. Our autonomic nervous system controls tiny muscles in the arterioles that act as gates to the arterioles that lead to the capillary beds. At any moment in time, some capillary beds will be open, allowing blood into the capillaries and the delivery of nutrients and removal of wastes. But since all cells need this sort of service, the blood must regularly be diverted or shunted to other capillary beds the blood must be shared. Which capillary beds are open is constantly changing. At any moment in time some capillary beds will be open, allowing blood into the capillary bed so that oxygen can be delivered to the cells and CO2 can diffuse into the blood. This is because the sphincter muscles allow the passages into the capillary bed to remain open. When the sphincter muscles are closed, blood is diverted away from one capillary bed, this one, to others. No one capillary bed can be without oxygen for very long, so the opening and closing of sphincters is constant, and the capillary beds that receive blood is constantly alternating. Blood flows to three major areas in the body, the brain, the muscles, and the digestive system. The brain is the priority customer. All capillary beds are open at all times. Depending on what the body is doing, more or less capillary beds will be open in the other two areas. For example, if a person is running, many of the capillary beds in the leg muscles will be open. The blood to fill these capillaries cannot be diverted from the brain, so it's diverted from the digestive system. There, many capillary beds will be closed. The smaller amount of blood that is actually left for the digestive system will have to be alternated between different capillary beds. If the activity is eating and digesting, Blood is diverted from the muscles to the digestive system where many capillary beds will now be open in order to absorb the nutrients and whisk them away to the liver for processing. So the body maintains homeostasis satisfying the needs of the cells by constantly shifting which capillary beds are open at a given time. Some capillary beds will be open and some will be closed at any moment in time and this is constantly changing. This process is called shunting.